tell from the title that we are doing the third episode of the Gyaru inspired uh, makeup based on the wig that I had purchased. So I got all three wigs from AliExpress. So you can check out the other two videos that I did do. I did like a purple emo as well as the other one was a traditional everyday Gyaru makeup look. So I'm so happy to have these wigs in my collection. The quality of these wigs are really really good in fact they're better than the wigs that i had purchased from amazon so i was really surprised about that i did get it all from the same company so i will put the um affiliate links down below if you're interested in the specific types of wigs they had other ones but if you just go to aliexpress as well i'll put the link down below you will see and find that there are gazookas of different wigs and all kinds of things that you can find there so be warned i don't have a regular flat headband so i'm so sorry dolls what an embarrassment but i'm gonna trip out a little bit because i the other two wigs were like really long and of course i'm used to that but as far as like short hair ooh. okay let's just make sure i'm covered up and make sure it's all like the right place i don't know why like the the area for the bang i guess it, it works i guess it works i guess she works but it's a little bit in my face so this is so much fun let me know if you guys want me to do more wigs because i actually want to be a collector now wig and makeup all right hold on there hold on you know i have my starbucks and so sometimes i realize too like if i'm super super chatty talking really fast although i naturally can talk very fast but also because i am like coffeeed up okay where are we going we're gonna go out like we're gonna go out tonight doll like dolls Dolls, I think th these this red color. Oh my god, love it. I think this red color would definitely go better with today's look. So let me go ahead and put these on and I'll check right back in. All right, dolls, I got my nails on. Mm hmm. I skimmed me looking crappy. I heard a firework outside. Um, there's like 4th of July, which is like, I guess, I don't know, Independence Day for it's like a holiday. And so they do like fireworks and stuff like that. But I don't know. I'm not going to probably be doing anything. I'm probably going to just be chilling and taking it easy. And spending time with my family, which is my favorite thing to do. And just being at home, really. Like, when I was a kid, I was always pretty quiet and shy. And more like on the, more like an observant type of person. So I was always kind of like that people watcher, I guess you would say. Um, where, you, I don't know, sometimes I would just like, just stare stare at people conversations just like staring at like people trying to understand them by just the way that they were like conversating with each other things like that like i find that interesting and fascinating um i should be using this mirror sorry what am i doing but i was just like talking to my sister and i'm like sarah i'm like i don't know like the truth is sarah i honestly think that I'm actually an introvert, but I just put on a show every time I actually go out. And my sister, who knows me so well, so I like love her. Like she just like, you know, I'm just so blessed because she's like the kind of sister where you don't have to explain anything. You guys almost have like a psychic connection or like just like a connection where, you know, you can have conversations and like people will be with you in the same group of friends and they'll be like, what the what are you guys laughing about or like what are you guys talking about i mean her just like mm -hmm, i'm like talking her own language and things like that so it's so awesome so like when she told me she's like yeah you are an introvert i'm like oh my gosh it kind of was like a confirmation for me like sometimes you know people are like oh, is everything okay and it's almost like they keep pushing and insisting that something's wrong but i almost feel like i have to make something up like yeah i guess me yeah maybe you're right just or I just completely avoid going out at all and just like going MIA because it's like I just need a lot of time to um, like regroup my energy. I feel like I already talked about this before. I don't know. I guess because I had this conversation with my sister today actually when we went out to go eat some Vietnamese food. So I was just kind of like thinking about that because it's like well, why is it that I enjoy being at home for long periods of time and really enjoying my like space okay so what am i going to create today well what i really want to do is a black emo eyeshadow goth you know what i mean like full on it's hard because i have a monolith generally but but like i guess makeup experts say because that's like my skinny like small little um like crease then obviously putting black like everywhere is probably not going to be the most attractive or like I don't know, best for my eye shape, but you know me, I always go against the green. <laughs> yeah, you see how my, my, my foundation just is disintegrating right before me. I've been using this in every one of the wig 
transformation videos. D plug is pretty. Got it. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to put that anyways in my inner corner. Okay, and here's my disclaimer in every video. I'm not a makeup guru. Uh, I'm not even close to that. I just mess with makeup because it's really fun. So I always have to say that because I'm pretty sure people are like, what are you doing, sister? I'm like, I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out myself. Please be kind to me. I'm gonna do the same here. Oh, look at me going off with my bad self on a Saturday night. Oh my god, I'm sure like 10% of that eyeshadow is in my eyeballs right now. <laughs> I'm feeling like Beetlejuice's sister. So yeah, and we can clean it up later. I don't know why I bothered doing it now. I guess it was kind of bothering me or I thought because it would bother you and I was trying to be considerate so I didn't want to be inconsiderate. So then yeah, that's why. Honestly, I'm actually trying, I'm actually gonna cut it with black. Like I am concerned. I've never put black like that much on my eye. So I'm just like kind of just beating around the bullet. Okay, the worst thing that can happen is that, you know, I just, it just doesn't work out and then I'm gonna have to just do it again and then like and okay so I'm also gonna put this color on the bottom I just want to go wild I mean I can see why look at the color it's like freaking fire on my head okay so now this looks way worse because I literally took off my eyeshadow Oh, it's crazy, dude. I'm like, this is like freakish. Oh, that's crazy. I kind of like it though. It's like weird. It's, you know how like James Charles has, where he used to have that thing and he paints on his face. This is like a real life, like shh, shh, shh. cool. And then concerning to some, let me go ahead and look a little bit decent because I kind of care what you guys think. And I'm actually kind of care what I think. And I'm a little bit concerned by the way that this looks right now. So I don't want to scare you dolls off. So let me look a little bit decent because I know there's some people who just can't handle it. Should I return to normalcy? It's just pointless with me and this foundation. I think it's a running joke now. I think it's beyond that. I think I'm being like punked. Okay, let's not waste any more of you dolls time. Um, This looks horrible horrible you guys trust me right it's gonna work it always works so now that you guys can kind of look at me without feeling awkward well maybe just a little this is sort of what i imagined i'm not even joking dolls oh, i'm sorry i'm not showing you guys what i'm doing so i found this like best glitter eyeshadow it's like melty i don't know melty eyeshadows do better for my skin because again i don't know maybe it's like aging kind of wrinkly or something and also dry so i'm putting glitter and i'm putting the glitter like i'm outlining the black so it's like a little bit of sparkle there i got this palette from amazon just in case anyone wants to no i don't even know if you dolls can see the glitter it's pretty subtle and then um don't worry we're gonna clean up this mess here is this as bold and smoldering as I had expected it? I need to be like, boom. I'm like, yeah, I'm, she cute. She, she a little scurry. You don't really want to mess with her. This is emo, but like, but is it sadness or madness? Oh, I think I scared enough people with this emo makeup. I actually, no, not enough. I need more black. I'm going to put a little bit of like a lighter glitter. So here in the corner of my eye. Oh my gosh, this is looking so edgy and I didn't even put my lashes and my eyeliner on. I actually was going to try to use some black um, glitter on the black, but like, no, I want my black to be matte. I don't want to have glitter. It's going to look too like happy new years and honey, we are not there yet. Oh my gosh, if I could only have my foundation and everything else under control, right? But it's okay. It's okay. 
oh my gosh you know it'd be cool if i had like um like some more like massive like jawbone you know what i mean to kind of make it look like more emo look like for character purposes oh my gosh like dolls look at this color mm, that's daring got into me okay so oh my gosh dolls let's see let's see oh my gosh look at that color well what's life without taking some risks What a trip. Now don't judge me, doll, because I am Christian and I do love Jesus, but I don't know. I don't judge me because of this make. I'm just um just really getting into it, you know what I mean? Like I don't know the next time I'm gonna be doing any kind of creating any kind of look like this, so I might as well just run with it, you know what I mean? I'm really digging this fierce look. I'm seeing eyeliner in the inner corner of mine and my eyeball. I always start from like the inner corner of my eyeball and then I always move my eyeliner outward to create a bigger dolly eye. My sister needs to take an eyeliner um, class. And it doesn't even matter because it's all black. Okay dolls, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyebrows. Eyebrows, eyebrows, Dana, eyebrows. I don't know, is that boring? Do you guys want to stay for the eyebrows? I don't think you guys want me to. Okay, so done. I'm gonna go do my eyebrows real quick and then I'm gonna put my lashes. Let me just do some touch-ups. So I will be right back. Pretty bad because like my foundation again is separating and it's like, whoa, like what do you have? Like a mustache going over here and like some other stuff happening over there. I didn't put lower lashes either because it was like, yeah, meh, sh meh. Ah, uh, lipstick, girls. What are we gonna do? Look at this. What do you think? It has glitter. Ooh. Okay. Well, okay, let me like clean it up a little bit. Um, it was Maybe really my... fun messing with this type of makeup. I absolutely love the wig. I hope you enjoyed watching this transformation. And I had so much fun as always, dolls. And thank you so much for watching, subscribing, commenting. I love each and every one of your comments. Thank you so much for all that love and support. And have a great day or night. Bye, dolls.